Hey Bethel, thanks so much for joining us for a little interview with uh, Crystal. So Crystal, can you tell us like how long you've been at Bethel? Yeah, I've been here since 2014. That's awesome, yeah. And then you're on staff, you've been on staff for a little while with, with FCA mm -hmm. now, right? Yep. Okay. About a year and a half. Okay, cool. So tell me about the partnership that Bethel and FCA have and kind of working together in the Tri-Cities to make disciples. Yeah, so our partnership is to be an extra arm of ministry for Bethel Church and other churches in the Tri-Cities, but specifically here uh, to operate the sports ministry and now mm. coming soon, the fitness ministry. That's great. What's been a cool part of that? I'm just curious for you personally, like just seeing that grow in the Tri-Cities, all of that. Yeah. So. For me, uh, God had planted the seed for uh, a while now, um, being here at Bethel and uh, coaching here on campus before with my my kids and then also uh, teaching fitness classes in the past. And just knowing that this is my calling, this is where he has me and coming on staff full time to also serve now in that. So. Okay. Yeah. So then when it comes to FCA, there's kind of this, this piece of that with FCA fitness. How did that start? By degree, I am an engineer. And so I was, um, I went through a lot of different uh, experiences professionally, and I'm a mom of five also. Uh, and so the Lord has led me through uh, a lot of different things. And um, after having my uh, twins in 2015, I was introduced to the sport of CrossFit, got to get to know a lot of different people in the community and through the fitness community. And uh, he has shown me many things of uh, being able to be in community and be able to um, be out in the public and to uh, introduce people to Jesus through that. And so he's equipped me in certain ways that I know that the calling that he has given me is to build out this ministry of FCA Fitness, uh, not just here at Bethel Church, but within FCA. This is brand new. It's a branch uh, that I'm planning to grow nationally also. So it's really exciting to see how big uh, of a vision God has and just uh, be able to step into that and uh, just see where he leads me. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how that's playing out here on the Richland campus at Bethel with the gym and there's renovations and a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. what's what's going on? Yeah, so the church elders and I uh, got together. Uh, it's almost two years ago now when I was beginning to come on staff and casting that vision and creating that church partnership and what does that look like and uh, what is the goal? The ultimate goal is uh, making disciples. The same mission that FCA has is in direct alignment with Bethel Church. And so we agreed uh, to have a mutual partnership to be able to renovate that space, that fitness area uh, adjacent to the basketball court. So if you used to go, if you've ever been over into the gymnasium here at Bethel, uh, there used to be an elevated stage with a curtain. And uh, so in order to be able to do uh, the fitness classes and have heavy weights and different things in there uh, for youth and anybody else, uh, we needed to remove that stage to allow for that type of exercise to happen. And so it was, it was pretty cool that we were able to, the Lord led me in the vision of, you know, we needed a lot of wood to be able to put in the wall space so that we could affix the steel rig to the wall. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have a way to be able to do that because the walls were not secure. So we removed the stage, all the wood under the stage, and we put all of that onto the wall. And behind the stage uh, wall is also the wood that held up the stage. So it's essentially all repurposed. Everything that in the past that the Lord had provisioned is still, um, I guess, stewarded well. That is really cool. Yeah. yeah, would have been that that sounds like a huge win just being able to repurpose mm -hmm. the actual material for the space. Have there been any unique challenges in in that process of renovation? Yeah, I think as you uh, take a space and um, try to make it the best use of the space, uh, we needed to then uh, do some earthwork on the side of the facility, if you guys have seen that. And so getting that to have egress that is functional and useful and safe, that was great. We've had some community partners come alongside us and donate uh, their resources uh, to be able to make it happen. So that's been also great to get more partnership involved with our community and different types of contractors. And uh, the stage curtain is gone. 
And so instead of a curtain, we have replaced that with a garage door uh, so that we can easily just open and shut uh, that area between the basketball court and the fitness area so that we can use both at the same time. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. So you guys are gearing up essentially to launch uh, this gym space and have that be open to the community. Mm -hmm. What's kind of the next steps and what is that looking like as far as having this be open to the community? Yeah, so the community, everybody will be welcome. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, and so we'll soft launch. Uh, sometime in November and December with our coaches. Uh, I have 12 coaches uh, that I'm coming alongside to be able to offer classes to the community. And uh, then after the new year, at some point, once we kind of have everything ready to go, we'll offer classes to the general public. Uh, but right now uh, we are uh, gearing up to be able to do our uh, fundraiser. We do an annual fundraiser. This will be our second year doing it. And this fundraiser will be called Equip the Gym. And that's for us to raise funds to put equipment in the gym. So if you come over there, you'll be able to see that it's uh, it's empty right now. It's a finished space that is awaiting equipment. And so the fundraiser is to be able to provide um, resources to be able to procure that. And then we'll get those in the gym so that we can start classes. So. Yeah. That's cool. When when is that fundraiser happening? Yeah, it will be uh, next Saturday, October 28th. For that specifically, how can people check that out? You've got a website and a place for people to yeah. look at. So you can look us up on social media, but the easiest way to see us is uh, come check us out. What are you most looking forward to over the next couple months, the next year, just finally having this space and being able to, mm -hmm. to open it up? What are you looking forward to? The Lord working. Uh, I definitely know that uh, he has put it on my heart. There's um, This will be a ministry to disciple um, and to walk alongside people, um, people that are in different stages of life, people that um, likely are not going to church, um, but are looking for community, a way to plug in, um, and that we can walk alongside them through relationship uh, and discipleship. And so that is what I'm most looking forward to is the opportunity to be able to meet people where they're at and to get them plugged in uh, with the right relationships with people, their coaches, and then uh, plug them into the church where it fits. Yeah, that is so cool. So yeah, Bethel, um, keep in touch with uh, everything that's happening over in the gym space. Yeah, if you're able to, to go over there and, and see it, I think that would be really cool. Um, otherwise, they've got their fundraiser and there's just so many cool things that are starting to happen as we are working, not just uh, in our own building and own spaces, but inviting the community into that and ultimately, in, you know, giving them opportunities to um, see see what God is doing and experience the love of God. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's awesome.